All right, today we've got a 2008 Dodge Ram truck with a 6.7 liter Cummins engine, and we're gonna go ahead and replace a couple injectors. But what I wanna focus on right now is entering the IQA information into the powertrain control module. So each injector is gonna come with a card here, and it's got a very specific code on it, which is placed on it by the remanufacturer which is a result of the, the flow process at the end of the remanufacturing uh, procedure. So this is going to be a very specific code based on how this injector is performing on the flow bench there. So we need to enter this information in for the specific injector into the specific cylinder information in the PCM. So if I'm going to replace all six injectors in this truck, I don't want to just rip these cards off and lay them on the bench and then try and figure out what goes with what injector later on. So right now I'm gonna do them one at a time. So before I even open up this injector and install it in the truck, I'm going to uh, use the Autel and I'm, I'm gonna enter the information in. So I'm gonna select engine control module. And now it gives me a list of different functions here. So I'm going to go into, uh, I believe it's special function. And there we have it, IQA. So I'll click on that. It says you can use this to program the, the IQA value for each individual injector, press OK. And so it gives me a display of all the different uh, injectors and the codes currently entered into them. So I'm going to uh, click on injector number one, then I'll click here. I'm actually going to scroll through and then I'm going to backspace to erase all the information. So now I'm going to uh, read the code off the tag here, which is 7GA. So 7GA. And it's IA3. So I will select IA3. There we go, and then I'm gonna select enter, okay. It says injector right, successful. Click okay. And there we have it. Now I can see that my information is written here in the PCM. So just like that, we've entered the IQA information in on cylinder number one. So now I can take this injector and install it in cylinder number one. Hopefully you understand how easy it is to change the IQA code with an Autel scan tool on this 08 Dodge Ram with a 6.7 liter Cummins.